Welcome to another week here at Tertullian.
For the people that are curious, kind of what we have been doing with the receptacles of kind of what groupings we put them together, I'm trying to not have more than eight receptacles in a room. Um, that for the reason that you can do a 15 amp breaker with eight 15, um, 15 amp uh, sockets and um, you still have the 80-20 rule where you um, have some leeway for the breaker. Um, so I'm running eight in each room where I am actually with the for the bedrooms, for Elias's bedroom and Clara's bedroom. I sized it so that I have seven receptacles in the room, um, all the way uh, all the way around um, on all the walls, and then I'm also including the closet for the kids always into that room. So basically, there's always just one receptacle in the in the closet, um, just so that you can plug in like Christmas lights or maybe um, um, the vacuum cleaner or something that you if if you're doing anything in that room. But otherwise, there's no other electricity in that room besides obviously the lights. But they're gonna run on a different cycle uh, circuit. The guest room or slash master at the beginning um, has six receptacles plus two in the bathroom. Yes, um, I'm actually combining in this room, the bathroom and the guest, uh, the guest room. First of all, we don't use it as much. And then second of all, it's only two receptacles in the entire bathroom itself. Um, and obviously the uh, receptacles for the bathroom are going to be GFI uh, protected. So the first, the first receptacle right um, above, uh, below the mirror obviously has that protection, which then puts it in series with the extra one and the rest of the room um, will be obviously beforehand. So therefore is not GFI protected. Obviously you don't want to accidentally break, um, have the GFI br br uh, trip based on do doing something in the bathroom and then having to go into, or based on the, something, doing something in the um, li uh, bedroom and then having to go into the bathroom to flip the switch on the GFI. So obviously one circuit, but um, GFI only for the bathroom. And then in the hallway, obviously we just have eight receptacles in this floor in the hallway that are just hanging all on the same breaker. Um, some people might ask uh, or wonder why am I running 20 amp um, Romax when I'm only using 15 amp circuits. Um, actually, this is just for um, future proofing everything. Um, in the future, I might want to put a f uh, 20 amp receptacle somewhere and to support that, obviously, I want to have the cable already run. I don't want to later on have to rip open all the walls just so that I can have a, a 20 amp receptacle itself. Um, f uh, plus, in addition, maybe in the future, I want to add another outlet somewhere and to do that, obviously, I would have to then upgrade most of my circuits um, from um, eight to nine or 10, and therefore I would need a 20 amp breaker. And I can't do that if I just have a 15 amp uh, 14 gauge cable. So I'm using 12 gauge cable um, for basically the entire floor for the receptacles. Obviously lighting is going to get 14 gauge because it's plenty um, amperage even for the future, especially with nowadays having L everything LED, which uses a lot more less wat wattage and therefore doesn't need uh, doesn't draw as much um, power. So um, I should be fine even long term with a 15 amp um, and 14 gauge wire. Well, I think this is it for this week. Um, see you guys next time. Bye.